Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor and pleasure to declare the Seventh World Congress on Polish Studies to be in session. Also to remind you that there's a reception this evening at the Immigration Center in Dynia. If you need instructions or directions, let us know. We'll be happy to provide them. In your program, you should see a separate sheet with four late additions. Uh, people who are on the program but were not, uh, did not arrive in time for us to have them in the printed version. So if you don't have one of those, let us know. Uh, my other great honor is to introduce the person without whom this Congress would not have happened. Now, in every great event, there are one or two people that uh, shoulder the burden of everything. And Anna Mazarkevich is one of those. Uh, Anna is from the Department of History here at the University of Gdańsk. Uh, she never sleeps. She always works. And I don't know how she gets done everything she gets done. But whatever you experience that may be pleasurable at this conference is due to her. Anna? Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for making it to Gdańsk. Um, Thank you, Piazza, Polski Institut Naukowy w Ameryce, uh, for accepting our invitation to host your 77th annual conference here in Gdańsk. In the city that, um, the city where history has been made over and over uh, throughout centuries, often with national and global implications. We are honored and delighted um, as organizers um, to partner with Piazza. We are also honored and delighted to, uh, by the support received from our co-organizers, the Emigration Museum in Gdynia, as well as from the Museum of Gdańsk. I would like to recognize the support received from the U.S. Embassy in Poland. Our thanks go in particular uh, to the Councillor for Public Affairs, Mr. Frank Finfer, and Beata Milewska of the Embassy staff. My personal very special thanks go to the student volunteers, members of the History Student Academic Association at the University of Gdańsk, who devoted their talent, their time, their energy, their own resources to help us make this meeting as enjoyable as possible. If you are here, can you stand up? I can see some here. Do you have my students volunteer? Okay. Among our partners, there are also alumni association consisting of the graduates of the United States State Department exchange programs, the Polish American uh, Fulbright Commission, which is celebrating 60th anniversary um, of its operations in Poland, as well as our good friends from the Polish American Historical Association, who are returning to Gdańsk after seven years uh, for a conference. Uh, if you guys remember 2012 and you thought that program was packed, well, look at your program again, okay? Welcome to Gdańsk, keep coming. Um, now, if it wasn't for James Pula, Professor Pula, most likely we would still be trying to put the program together. It's an impossible thing to navigate through all of the submissions. Uh, my rock, my biggest um, support, without him I would not have been able to do anything here. Jim, thank you very much. Last but not least, thank you to all of you who have submitted uh, paper proposals. Thank you for deciding to choose to, to, to come to Gdańsk um, and share your research with us. We hope you will enjoy your time here um, in likely the best place in Poland, um, the three city consisting of Gdańsk, Sopot and Gdynia. We are honored uh, to announce that the mayors of the cities of Gdańsk, Aleksandra Dulkiewicz and Gdynia, Wojciech Szczurek, have extended their honorary patronage over our conference. We are also delighted by the support and honorary patronage of the rector of the University of Gdańsk, Professor Jerzy Gizdawa. And at this point, I would like to int uh, introduce and welcome to the podium the Vice Rector for Research and Foreign Cooperation, Professor Piotr Stepnowski, who has supported and assisted our efforts from the very beginning. And I have just learned, can I share the good news? We are going to be treated... No, no, don't do that. I'm I will not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Anya. First of all, congratulations to, to this event, which from the very beginning seems very successful. I, I know this is the person who never sleeps, and that's her. <laughs> and we know we can lean on her always, and also to organize such a wonderful event, because of which I would like to convey my very best wishes, 
basically in, in the name of Professor Jerzy Gwizdawa, rector of a university who, who uh, is greeting you warmly and wish you only fruitful and good discussion. But, uh, well, I know this conference is for the first time in our beautiful city of Gdańsk, or beautiful region of three city, including Gdynia also, and we are very honored. We are very honored for, for several reasons. First of all, we are University of Gdańsk. University of Gdańsk, which is a relatively young one. We are just starting our 50th uh, um, anniversary, but history goes far uh, longer uh, to the past, which I will reflect in a second. The, the, the second obvious issue is Gdańsk is of its specificity in historical milestones, one of the most important city in this very region of Europe, uh, with its uh, huge influence on European history, uh, relations uh, between countries that shared this city for ages, uh, quite complicated uh, moments in the history, but always at the end, uh, uh, Gdańsk was a winner. And uh, starting from the very ancient uh, uh, traces of our influence on the uh, historical structure of this part of Europe, ending with uh, Solidarność movement, which started right here. Um, as I told you, uh, University of Gdańsk is starting its UB jubilee year now. We, are, we will celebrate our 50th birthday next March, but our history goes back to uh, times of academic gymnasium. That was in Gdańsk, established already in 17th century. And in 19th century, we had a wonderful professor uh, called Brongowiusz, Brongowiusz, who is uh, who was actually responsible for polystands in that very complicated time of, of Gdańsk in 19th century, as you know. And he was the one promoting Polish language in, uh, between people inhabiting this region, Kashubians and uh, uh, many, many others. And he is actually right now uh, our honorary patron of the prize for the best academic teacher. Because of the 50th anniversary, we decided to issue a special Jubilee beer. Gdańsk was a brewery city always, called Mrongowius, and uh, this was the one she, uh, she wanted to steal my show. I, I will convey uh, 200 bottles for today's banquet of this very beer to you. So. Uh, at the end, I, of course, I, I would love to... Uh, to, 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 to wish you all, all the best uh, impressions, uh, not only from the conference, this is obvious, but also from, uh, uh, from, from, from being in the city, in both cities. Uh, enjoy your time, have a good discussion, and uh, come back to us. Welcome to Gdańsk. Nice. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Sipnowski. Right now, I would like to uh, welcome to the podium the host, our boss here, the Dean of the Faculty of History, uh, who will extend his warm welcome um, to all of you in Polish. Panie Profesorze, Profesor Wiesław Tugorkański, zapraszam. Szanowny Panie Rektorze, Szanowny Panie Prezesie, Polskiego Instytutu Naukowego w Ameryce. Szanowni Państwo, trzeci raz w Polsce i w tej chwili w Gdańsku, w Uniwersytecie Gdańskim na Wydziale Historycznym. To jest dla nas wielki zaszczyt, że ten kongres Polskiego Instytutu Naukowego w Ameryce może się tutaj na Wydziale Historycznym odbywać. Wydział Historyczny Uniwersytetu Gdańskiego powstał w 2008 roku. Oczywiście jego tradycja jest dłuższa, bo wcześniej był to Wydział Filologiczno-Historyczny, wcześniej jeszcze humanistyczny. Niemniej jednak w tej chwili mamy samodzielność. Wydział składa się z trzech instytutów historii, archeologii, etnologii, historii sztuki. Uprawiamy naukę w kilku dyscyplinach, mianowicie historia, archeologia, 
nauki o sztuce, nauki o kulturze i religii. Pracuje na naszym wydziale 80 naukowców i studiuje około 1000 studentów. Posiadamy, jak myślę, znaczącą pozycję naukową w Polsce. Wydział ma kategorię naukową A, posiadał prawo doktoryzowania w zakresie historii archeologii, historii sztuki, używając jeszcze dawnej nomenklatury. Teraz to są nauki o sztuce. Posiada prawo habilitowania w zakresie, w dyscyplinie historia. Chciałbym serdecznie podziękować tym wszystkim, którzy przyczynili się do organizacji tego kongresu w murach Wydziału Historycznego, a mianowicie panu profesorowi Robertowi Baumowi, profesorowi Piazy, panu profesorowi Dzimowi Puli, który jest głównym organizatorem kongresu, a również pani dyrektor Bożenie Lewen, która jest dyrektorem Polskiego Instytutu Naukowego w Ameryce. Serdecznie także dziękuję organizatorom z naszej strony, a szczególnie pani profesor Annie Mazurkiewicz. Wiem, ile wysiłku włożyła w to jej współpracownicy, ażeby ten kongres tutaj mógł się odbyć i odbyć się w godnej uprawie. Jeszcze raz serdecznie dziękuję za przyjęcie zaproszenia. Myślę, że będzie to spotkanie bardzo owocne, czego Państwu serdecznie życzę. Powodzenia. Dziękuję bardzo. Moving on to the great finale of our welcoming remarks. <laughs> I am honored, uh, delighted, and thrilled to welcome here um, the president of the Polish Institutes of Arts and Sciences of America, Professor Robert Blobel. If you'll indulge me for just a, a few minutes uh, uh, so I can say something about Piazza, because I'm not sure everyone in this, uh, this audience knows uh, uh, much about the history of the Polish Institute uh, of Arts and Sciences uh, of America. Uh, but it was founded in, in 1942 by a very small group of Polish academicians uh, during the occupation of Poland during the Second World War. And when we think about Piazza's founders, like uh, the pioneering uh, anthropologist, an organization's first president, Bronisław Malinowski, uh, the great historian, uh, Oskar uh, Halecki, and the circumstances in which uh, Piazza came into being, we should be, not be surprised that its guiding principles are independence uh, and integrity. Uh, institutionally sponsored work in the arts and sciences and the cultural field more generally for which independent thinking is absolutely necessary to innovation, uh, was not possible in Poland then, and was no less difficult during the first decades of the Cold War and the communist era in Poland. Uh, these historical circumstances require that this Polish academy in, in exile, uh, as it were, establish itself permanently on North American soil. Uh, though one might think that the end of the Cold War and communism should have made such concerns mute, uh, our own hyperpartisan day and age in both Poland and the United States seem to have resurrected them and provide new justification for an organization like Piazza. Uh, these principles may need to be interpreted, reinterpreted to fit the requirements of our day, to defend the integrity of independent scholarship and cultural work uh, about and related to Poland in a manner that doesn't come off as partisan itself. But this doesn't make these principles any less uh, relevant. So maintaining that fine balance may not be easy, uh, but I think it's crucial to the integrity of this particular organization. Uh, with that said, uh, my role here is not so much to welcome people, uh, because I'm a guest myself. Right, uh, uh, who is going to speak on behalf of the, the, the Institute and, and express uh, our gratitude, my gratitude to our hosts uh, who have welcomed us here. Uh, to the cities of Gdańsk and uh, Gdynia and its presidents, uh, Aleksandra Dulkiewicz and Wojciech Szczurek. To the University of Gdańsk and its rector, uh, Jerzy Piotr Gwizdała. 
as well as representatives uh, on the stage uh, here uh, with me, uh, Vice Rector uh, Piotr Stepnowski and Jekhan uh, Vyaslav Dugokinski uh, of the Department of History, which has participated most directly in the organization of this Congress and given us access to this, to this building. Uh, we're fortunate recipients of, uh, uh, of the generosity of two great museums, uh, the Emigration Museum in uh, Gdynia, which will host our evening reception, uh, and the Museum of Gdynsk, which is opening the doors of beautiful Arches Hall uh, for tomorrow's uh, award ceremony and banquet. Uh, we're grateful to the generous support of the U.S. Embassy in Warsaw to assist us in funding this Congress, and to the partners listed in your program for their help in promoting it. Uh, to put together a Congress of this nature is a major task, uh, requiring a division of labor. Uh, I would like to thank those individuals on, on the organizing committee who had a hand in this one way or another. Uh, Arkadiusz Janicki, uh, Bieta Mojeko, uh, Magdalena Novak, uh, and Przemysław Brzezinski from the University of Gdańsk. Uh, all of them, and from Piazza, our executive director, Bojana Levin, and uh, board members, Neil Peace and Renata uh, Vickery. Uh, the two individuals who are chairing this panel, uh, this opening session, however, have done the real heavy lifting. Let's not fool ourselves. They've done the heavy lifting. And the rest of us have played sort of more, more minor supporting roles. Uh, so special thanks here goes to James Pula and Anna Mazurkevich, uh, because believe me when I say that none of this would have been possible without them, uh, which is you know, an understatement if there ever was one. Um, so the rest now is up to us. Uh, so let's use the, the groundwork that they have uh, laid to make this an amazing uh, and memorable conference. Thank you. <laughs>